I've been talking about degrees. Um, pumagsak ba ako? Umasa ba ako? Um, unfortunately... Hello everyone, I'm Rawson Hernandez. I'm a first year student at the UP College of Law and I usually make videos about my law school experiences and journey. To those who are new to my channel, welcome! And to those who are not, welcome back and thank you for subscribing. Uh, I know it's been a while since I last posted uh, a video and it's been quite a ride for me. Um, but yeah, tapos na ang first semester and uh, thankful naman ako. So yeah, uh, I want, just wanted to also um, share an update or my experience with you. Yung first semester experience ko again sa law school. I, I prepared lang din a list here so that I can um, share my experiences. So ano ba yung naging highlight nung um, first semester ko sa law school? Um, number one of course, my block. Very, for me, the most important uh, and most exciting part ng naging experience ko sa law school. I'm very thankful to be a part of a block na sobrang, well, at least, uh, well, kasi um, evening um, block din kasi kami. So, probably, that's a big, big, that's a big factor. Um, so, so yun, um, they helped me then, no, uh, it kept me sane during yung experience ko sa first half. Uh, kasi as you all know, syempre challenging naman talaga ang law school and uh, in our case, first semester. Um, so yun, I'm very thankful na naging part ako ng block. Uh, and I'm looking forward pa to the next four years, four and a half years. Um, so that's fine. I'm very happy with that. Um, then of course, siguro uh, my experience with our professors and my different subjects or courses. So just to um, share, no, um, subjects ko this well last semester or during the first semester um, is constitutional law one or consti one, persons and family relations. Um, we also had um, criminal law one or crim one. Um, also legal history and legal bibliography. So um. Siguro for me, the most challenge, actually of course, lahat naman challenging, pero for me really the most challenging was constitutional law one. And, um, uh, well, the thing is, ako yung bida for, for, the, for the block, at least ako, one of the bidas for constitutional law. And um, yeah, it was very challenging for me, but um, right now, um, I'm happy naman with my, you know, with my performance. Then the other subjects, I all I enjoyed all of those, naman, all of the subjects. Um, professors, they're all nice. They're all great. Shempre, um, you below um, faculty, talagang maraming mga to na. Um, but yeah, so siguro for for some of you, you you're also waiting uh, or looking forward to know then ko ano yung naging fruit of yung struggle <laughs> and um, but yeah I'm talking about degrees um, pumagsak ba ako? Umasa ba ako? Um, unfortunately wala pa yung grades um, meron lang one yun yung sa consti one and I'm happy naman with my grade pero for the rest especially right now siguro because of the current situation with the pandemic you know the remote setup or the remote setting um so yun wala pa yung grades namin so i'm hoping talaga sana talaga okay in my grades ko but i think naman hopefully fingers crossed um wala naman talaga ako magsa and um just to let you know now din naman kasi wala ding failing grade they can uh, the faculty cannot give uh, failing grades due to the you know the, the pandemic and all but um, I think naman I did well during semester, so I'm expecting, hopefully, na okay na talaga para mabubuo na to the second semester. And uh, actually now, um, we're already in the registration process a little period for the, the second semester. Um, so yeah, basically, yung experience ko. Uh, 
sa first semester ko sa UP Law, but I'm also looking forward to the next semester, which is, by the way, soon na, kasi um, ang start ng second semester ay um, Feb 7, so that's this uh, coming Monday already. Um, yun. So, actually, natapos lang yung first semester um, last week, I guess, um, kasi we we had our final exams, pa final requirements. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm still uh, happy naman with everything that I've accomplished or that you know I've done given that it's our first first semester uh, of law school and I'm really excited. So for next sem, um, well, I'm not sure about pero uh, ex we're expecting na subjects na for next sem or second semester of first year. I um, obligations and contracts or obligation, the legal profession. Oh my god, the legal method, but the legal. Oh my god, hindi ko sure, but and also criminal law too. Um, yeah, so I just really wanted to um, share an update because I know na hindi ba din din ulit ako na upload and I'm also looking forward na mahapag upload pa ng uh, you know more videos or more vlogs. But for now, very limited because especially nga with the current situation and you know, and as a bahay lang. So it's really hard and difficult for me to come up with um, videos or come up with ideas na I can use para sa mga videos. Pero um, siguro um, start ng second step, uh, I'll make another one. Um, probably same with yung ginawa ko last time na A Day in the Life. But yeah. And also, I also, I also, also, <laughs> and then, um, the reason why I also um, wanted to post another video um, is because I want to thank uh, everyone uh, for the support and for reaching out. Again, as I mentioned before, na ang goal ko talaga sa channel nata is to um, to share my experience or at least help out other people or those who are. Um, who also want to go to law school become a lawyer, to become lawyers so yon and um, during siguro period na nakapag post ako ng mga videos before and now ang um, marami actually na nag reach out to me and I appreciate that so thank you everyone for reaching out um, not just to ask ask questions but at the same time parang um, you know to, to motivate me to encourage me lang na uh, ilaban <laughs> ilaban yung first time of law school so yun, um, actually gusto kong uh, sumagot din ng mga questions. So usually ito mga uh, UP law questions or UP law aptitude examination for example questions or related questions. But by the way, um, I already made actually my first video, the first video that I uploaded to this channel was actually about my UP law experience journey and I also shared some tips so I'll link na lang then here <laughs> here 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 <laughs> yung um, video na yun, my first vlog and um, you can also check the comment section kasi may mga questions din doon and uh, you know responded to those questions uh, to answer their questions uh, okay but uh, here um, there are other people din kasi who reach out to me through uh, different platforms or via different um, tools like uh, Messenger, Discord. So, nag I prepared here lang yung mga FAQs, frequently asked questions, um, and I'll try to answer. Um, so, first, siguro, one of the most common questions or the frequently asked questions about the UP LAE, na I'm not sure if nasagot ko din sa first video ko, is um, the features ng tool, Exemplify, yung Examsoft, na that's what we used last year sa LAE, and I'm, I think yun din gagamit ng this year. So, may mga nagtanong sa akin about the tool itself, the features, especially or specifically yung mga calculator, scratch paper, if allowed ba, scratch paper or not. So, um, number one, siguro tip or answer ko doon, you can check online kasi you can find references then or materials online uh, discussing yung, or like showing yung tool, or yung exemplify. You can 
watch videos on YouTube. I think they also have their website. So at least then you can familiarize yourself with the tool. Um, but at the same time, I, if I'm not mistaken, I think uploaded then sa Upilaw website yung guide how to access or how to use yung tool. Kasi that's what was shared with me last, with us, sorry, with us last year. Um, and also, um, that's also the purpose of yung mock lie. Um, for you to see, to check um, uh, yung tool or you exemplify to familiarize yourself then with the tool. So don't worry, don't worry too much no? or don't worry about that. But what I can um, suggest na lang then if you're worrying about like yung calculator na walang um, a scratch paper, uh, if same pa rin, so yes, uh, the use of scratch paper is not allowed or won't be allowed sa lahi. Um, since online, um, practice na lang sa laptop nyo or sa computer nyo using yung notepad and yung calc built-in calculator sa laptop. Um, next would be um, what I did, how I prepared. Again, um, na discuss ko na yun sa isang video ko pero siguro quickly. Number one, nalagi ko din sinasabi is um, practice tests. Um, marami naman ito, you can check online or if you are using reviewers and um, for reviewers I actually use yung white elephant but just a reviewer I didn't avail or attend yung mga review classes review sessions kasi medyo mahal din siya pero if you think makakatulong yun and if it would be um, easier for you kasi uh, may time talaga you need to attend a session or something then go ahead pero for me um, enough na yung reviewer ng white elephant but Hindi lang yun. So, I also um, took or used yung um, ito online, can LSAT practice tests, yung free. I think meron din ng mga um, may bayad, pero I only use or took yung free, of course, kasi ako nang gumastas. And also, you may also use other uh, review materials, but don't use a lot. Parang limit siguro to just two to three na types or type of reviewers. Um, alam para na hindi kayo magulahan kasi especially like for example for logic baka iba iba yung sabihin na lang um, how did I review or prepare time management is very important um, but for me siguro um, just to let you know if hindi nyo pa napanood yung uh, video ko last time so I'm 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 an evening student kasi I'm a working student so uh, I have a full time job so siguro ang number one tip ko about sa pagmamanage ng time or sa pagre-review is really uh, it's important to rest. Parang rest if you must but don't you quit, di ba? Especially for us na working. Um, if makakatulong sa inyo, if okay sa inyo yung magkumawa ng mga planner, um, schedule, calendar, then feel free to do it. Um, pero for me, if pagod ka na talaga, huwag, huwag mo na pilitin sa review. Uh, again, for more um, suggestions or tips about my experience at UP Lai, um, last year, just watch my other videos. Pero, yun, I hope na makatulong pa rin to. Uh, I know parang you only have more or less a month left to prepare for, um, I believe, March 6, yung Lai, unless mo move or may extend pa yung mga deadlines given the situation. But um, good luck, good luck everyone. I know you'll do well, whatever happens. At least, um, ginawa niya, yeah, yung best niya. Don't, don't worry about it. Wag na siya, don't worry, you know, um, about it. Pero yes, do your best, but don't, you know, sacrifice your health then. Like right now, may COVID pa rin. So, um, take your vitamins, exercise ko ano yung mga ways para maging um, healthy kayo. Um, but yeah, so good luck. Uh, I know na marami pa yung pagdadaanan sa, sa UPLA during your experience nyo. But I am and we are um, looking forward to, you know, uh, welcoming you to UP Law soon next school year. Um, and uh, if you also have any suggestions or videos that you want me to, to do or to create, um, just let me know um, and I'll be happy to you know to if you know if you have any questions I'll try to answer and feel free to reach out to me um, my other um, social media uh, like Facebook 
my Facebook, Twitter. I also have my Twitter. Uh, make sure to also include my social media links or profiles sa profile bar sa description box. And yeah, again, uh, I really wanted to share um, uh, an update sa law school experience ko. And again, thank you so much for reaching out, for asking your questions, for supporting. Uh, I can't wait to, well, hopefully to meet you all soon. Um, 100 na yung, 100 na tayo, subscribers. I know compared to, to other, you know, um, vloggers or content creators, malit pa yan. Pero I'm happy na nag-start tayo ng, I think, less than 40 lang when I started creating my videos. But now, we're 100. So, um, hopefully, uh, ma-share nyo itong um, channel in this video and also, uh, yung iba na hindi pa nahabag sub subscribe, please feel free to, uh, to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. See you soon. Bye!